orders of the Ancient Ones. Could this have been the Great White Brotherhood and the 13th Stone of Mu? As in Mu and Atlantis, construction in South America was on megalithic scale, with polygonal construction techniques designed to make the massive walls earthquake-proof. Earthquake-resistant walls were important all around the Ring of Fire, ancient Mu. Homes and communal buildings were built out of megalithic blocks of stone. Because of the high regard the culture had for the well-being of future generations, and the value they placed upon the gradual, sustained growth of the community. Structures were built to last for thousands of years. A house built of cement, wood, and plaster wall will last a hundred years or so, if kept up. Witness the megalithic construction of Egypt, Malta, Peru. These buildings are still standing today. Cusco, the ancient capital of Peru, which was probably built before the Incas, is still inhabited today after thousands of years. Indeed, most of the buildings in downtown Cusco today incorporate walls that are many hundreds of years old, whereas more recent buildings constructed by the Spanish are already crumbling. Only a few hundred miles to the south of Cusco lie the fantastic ruins of Pumapunku, high in the Altiplano of Bolivia. Perhaps the biggest mystery involving Pumapunku is how ancient mankind managed to transport these huge blocks of stone from quarries within 10 to 100 kilometers. How did they manage to achieve this type of precision cuts? And how did they place the blocks in such a perfect manner? Engineers and constructors around the world today cannot answer nor replicate these achievements done by ancient mankind thousands of years ago. Archaeologists cannot conclude and answer how were these amazing blocks of stone transported. Some of them believe that it was accomplished by the large labor of force of ancient Tuanaku. Several theories have been proposed as to how this labor force transported the stones from the quarries to Pumapunku, but these theories remain speculative. The pinnacle of the Pumapunku site is the Gateway of the Sun that depicts Viracocha coming out of a type of stargate. The carving is created from a single 12-ton stone. Scattered about the site are many monolithic stones that are presently cut and routed in multiple levels with perfect angles and straight lines. Many of these blocks are cut in perfect interlocking shapes, a feat far beyond a primitive civilization that used stone and bronze hand tools. These ruins of Pumapunku are massive megalithic constructions, and yet they look like they've been tossed about like toy building blocks. What kind of cataclysmic upheaval could have done such a thing? Here's the kind of megalithic construction meant to last for thousands of years. Yet the 100-ton blocks have been torn asunder by mighty geological forces. The South American continent was suddenly and violently thrust upward during some kind of cataclysm, most likely a pole shift. A former sea level canal can now be seen at 13,000 feet in the Andes Mountains. As possible evidence for this scenario, many ocean fossils can be found near Lake Titicaca. The lake is even inhabited by the only known freshwater seahorses. Mayan pyramids are found from Central America to as far away as the Indonesian island of Java. The Pyramid of Suka on the slopes of Mount Lawu near Surakarta in Central Java is an amazing temple with stone stelae and step pyramid that would match any of the jungles of Central America. The pyramid is in fact virtually identical to the pyramids found at the ancient Mayan site at Awaxac Tun near Tikal. The ancient Mayans were brilliant astronomers and mathematicians whose early cities lived in agrarian harmony with Earth. They built canals and hydroponic garden cities throughout the ancient Yucatan Peninsula. Some of the Mayan glyphs were allegedly radionic type insect control devices that broadcast an etheric vibration of the targeted past. In James Akan's book, Lost Secrets of Maya Technology, an exciting documentation of exploration research, forensic engineering, and virtual reconstruction, he found evidence of lost technological achievements that enabled the Maya to construct cities towering above the rainforest, water systems with underground reservoirs, miles of paved jungle tracks, and the longest bridge in the ancient world. He also explains how Maya engineers built multi-story buildings that were not exceeded in height until the first skyscraper erected in the U.S. in 1885. 
how they invented the blast furnace 2,000 years before it was patented in England and developed the vulcanization of rubber more than 2,600 years before Goodyear. Ocon explained how the grand cities of the Maya civilization were constructed of a strong, durable building material that resisted the prying roots of the jungle, earthquakes, and hurricanes for over a millennium. This material was cast-in-place concrete that was very similar to modern structural concrete, the most popular building material in contemporary construction. The cement produced by Maya technicians was fabricated in a similar manner as today's Portland cement. The Maya used limestone as the raw material and produced thermodynamic reactor using a self-consuming timber assembly, like a blast furnace which elevated the temperature of the timber fuel to 1600 degrees Celsius. This temperature melted the limestone and produced the chemical reaction that converted the raw material into cement. This cement was the base material for producing the cast-in-place concrete that built the Maya civilization. Edgar Casey mentions the Mayas and their technology in one reading. As for a description of the manner of construction of the stone, we find it was a large cylindrical glass, as would be termed today, cut with facets in such manner that the capstone on top of it made for centralizing the power or force that concentrated between the end of the cylinder and the capstone itself. It's believed that an ancient hall of records resides somewhere in the Mayan region, probably beneath an existing pyramid complex, in an underground tunnel and chamber system. Some sources say this repository of ancient knowledge is kept in quartz crystals that are of exceptional quality and capable of holding large amounts of information in the similar manner as a modern CD. Ancient China, known as Han China, is said to have come, like all civilizations, from the huge Pacific continent, Mu. The ancient Chinese are known for their sky chariots, their geomancy, and the jade manufacture that they shared with the Mayas. Indeed, the ancient histories of the Chinese and Mayas seems indelibly linked. Anthropologist makes a good case for a Taoist influence coming to Central America by showing Shang Dynasty symbols and motifs. The yin-yang is the most famous, but there are many more, and then relating them to known Mayan art and sculpture. Jade was of particular importance to the Shang Chinese. So far, the source of Chinese jade has not been picked.